Hi, this is Scott Garibay. Let's talk about Kamala Harris, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So the good, bad, and ugly is one of my favorite films. It's a good way to break something down. Let's do it, right? So Kamala Harris is the de- the 2020 U.S. presidential primary VP, vice president. First of all, if you ain't watched Veep, you better watch it. <laughs> Because it prophesied this. It prophesied that ex- that this exact situation would happen. That a, that a woman would be brought in as VP and then would become president when the president couldn't do the job. But VP said that it was going to be a horrific nightmare for everyone involved. For the people of America, for the VP candidate themselves, for the president, for everybody. Right? And it's, uh, I watched Veep recently, uh, I w- I've watched all the major pol- political shows, right? West Wing, Veep, Madam Secretary, if you're a political wonk, if you're political, uh, if you're serious into political commentary, you got to watch these, because these are, this is refraction journalism at its best, right? That, that's what those shows are. They are a form of refraction journalism. And, uh, but Veep really prophesied a lot of this. I mean, it, it is, like, weirdly prophetic, Right, so, and all, but also, Veep said that 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 a woman would be brought would ne- that the first woman president would not be elected. The first woman president would be brought in as a VP. The first woman president would then gain the presidency when, um, when the president was no longer able to do the do to do the job, and then it said that the first woman president would then run for re-election and get destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. Right? And frankly, uh, I really think that's a good uh, picture of what might happen because it got so much else right. Right? And and there, and just so you're aware, like, the people who wrote VP, Veep, all those, all those t- TV writers, they all come from the same place, Harvard and Yale. And, uh, you know, and, and they, they do their research. Like, when they, when they build these shows, they are, they're not just... They're not putzing around. Like, there's a lot of research that goes into these shows. And you can tell just by watching them. And those shows are awesome, too, because they they really show you the structure of of the government. So let's talk about Kamala Harris and what it means for her being chosen as Joe Biden's VP. So let's talk about the good. You you know what? We're going to talk about the good, bad, and the ugly. Let's talk about the ugly first. So first of all, the ugly is not Kamala Harris. Uh, So Kamala Harris, it seems to be... I like Kamala Harris from the perspective of her being very capable and being a, a lovely human being, right? Like from the, I don't think she really means people harm. I think she has a good nature overall. I, hey, that you can't say that about every every. Um, uh, you can't say that about every politician. You really can't. There are some dark beast monsters like in in the political world. I don't think that Kamala Harris is one of them. I really don't. I think she's ambitious. I think she's aggressive. I think she's capable. I think she's smart, right? So the ugly is not Kamala Harris, right? She's she's a lovely. Uh, you know what? I don't want to say she's a lovely human being. I would say she's a lovely candidate, right? Like she's a very uh, nice candidate I, uh, overall. I don't think she's. Uh, I don't. I don't think she's a monster person, right? And and. It's like, should I have to say that? Yeah, there's some real monster people in 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 Washington. Some serious, like, Cthulhu type uh, uh, monster people. It's not. It is ugly, right? And and it's it's bad, right? Just people that you would not want at your barbecue, right? And I don't think, and and I would want Kamala Harris at my barbecue. You know, like, hey, have a hamburger. Right? <laughs> Even though I know you're gonna put taxes on hamburgers and make it hard for Americans to get hamburgers, but. <laughs> Uh, but but overall, she's not a monster purpose. So the ugly, the ugly in all this, I'll talk about it real quick, is just how bad this election is. This is one of the worst, this is by far the worst election of my lifetime. I'm, I'm 50 years old now, and this is the worst election I've ever seen by far. There is just, and it, for everybody, for the blues and the reds, I think everybody's frustrated and there are no there are no good guys here, right? You're either voting for Joe Biden or you're voting for, for Donald Trump. Neither one, like, you know, Biden doesn't want the job, isn't capable of finishing a single term, uh, just not, a, and, and actually, and also is trying to trot out a lot of super old policies when there were, twi- when there was an array of 24 powerful, innovative, awesome, fun candidates, 
And it's pretty monstrous that he shoved them aside to push his old, you know, his old agenda up. And that's frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating to me. Donald Trump is fundamentally, in my opinion, destroying the role of the presidency. That's my beef with him. He is destroying the role of presidency. He is battering the U- the role of U.S. president with a sledgehammer. Uh, the only person who's done a worse job than Donald Trump in dishonoring the presidential role is Bill Clinton, in my opinion. Uh, within my lifetime, within my lifetime, uh, there's like there's one dude like back in the 1800s who like served as a Confederate president. Yeah, that that's but I well, no, you know what? Bill Clinton's up there. He is really bad, man. That's like there's some bottom of the barrel stuff on his plate. I don't know. It, it, yeah, it's not good, right? So I'm not a, I'm not a Trump fan. So the ugly is that there's just no good guys in the mix here on on the presidential t- on the pre- on the on the presidential candidate level, right? Let's talk about Kamala Harris. Okay, what what is the good and what is the bad of Kamala Harris? What's the good? There's a lot that's good. Okay, so one I think for, one thing that's good is we now know that if Joe Biden wins, we're going to have somebody who has the ability to make a plan and the ability to execute on that plan, right? Now, I don't think her plan is a good plan, but it is a plan, and that's better than no plan. Pete Buttigieg had no plan. Biden has no plan. Um, so Kamala Harris, oh, by the way, without a doubt, Kamala Harris is a far better pre- far better person to be president than Joe Biden. I'm convinced Joe Biden at this at where Joe Biden 2020 has zero ability to be president for even one month, one month, and the reason why is he can't get through a friendly interview. How on earth do you think he's going to get through a day with any crisis? He won't, right? So, so Kamala Harris assures us that if the Biden Harris ticket wins, there is someone on that ticket that is actually capable. Of doing the job, I think Kamala Harris is 100% capable of as functioning as a U.S. president. Not a good one, not a good one, but as she has, she is competent. She is intelligent. She has charisma. She can communicate. These are all critical uh, attributes that you need as president. She's got all of them. She's fully capable of the job. Okay. Um, you could be, and by the way, you can be capable of, of of being president and then turn out to be a bad president because the, the either you fail on execution on your plans or your plan was wrong from the beginning. But by the way, I have a tremendous respect for someone who attempts and fails. What I disrespect is people who fail to even attempt, right? And that that's Pete Buttigieg. He didn't have a single good idea. He didn't have a single policy of his own. He literally thought, you know, his smile and charm were going to be enough. No, man, you you got to have a good idea, right? Kamala Harris has a vision, right? I don't agree with the vision, but she has a vision. That's good, right? So it's good to know that if something happens with, I don't think anything's going to happen with Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden's going to get in, and week three he's going to be like, oh, um, I quit. <laughs> like that's it. That's gonna be it, right? He'll make up some some excuse or whatever, but uh, but he'll be out quick, right? Quick, right? So and and then when that happens, the person who's coming in is is fully is smart, has a plan, has the ability to execute on that plan. I disagree with the plan, but that's okay. That's okay. Like it's not somebody who's who has no business being there. Uh, Kamala Harris has business being in that seat, in my opinion. Okay. All right, uh, so that's good. That is very good. Um, what's the bad? The bad is, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's talk about the bad. Uh, the, uh, the, I'm just going to say, yeah, here's the, here's the bad. Okay. Woman president. It's a big, big deal. Okay. We've already had our first black president. Okay. So Kamala Harris isn't going to be new from that perspective. Right. Uh, but we haven't had a woman president. The fact that the first woman president will be president and America did not elect her, I think is a very bad thing. It is very bad. There are people out there who really question that a woman could be president or should be president, right? It's not a large number, but there's a significant but it's not a large number, but there's people out there. And the fact that that the first woman president will be unelected I uh, it's okay. So it is my opinion that when they ran Hillary Clinton, it was a fundamental tactical mistake that just 
it was so clear that she had no ability to win. And by the way, you can go back. I'm on Slate Political Gab Fest in the, in the question section. 16 months before Hillary lost, and I'm on tape saying, hey, uh, we've had our first black president for two years. Uh, the Democrats are now saying we're going to jump immediately to our first woman president. History doesn't have that kind of elasticity, right? People, you know, you, you you don't make huge changes back to back to back successfully. There's there's almost no, you don't see that in history. History takes time, right? And so you could you could tell two. I knew two years before. I knew the moment Hillary announced that she would be crushed by any any Republican, right? Because the America was snapping back. They're like, this is a lot of change. We're going to snap back to what we used to have, right? Totally wrong. Shouldn't be that way. But you got you also. But at the party level, you need to know history, right? And so I could see it just from history wasn't going to work, right? And so I think what 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 will happen with Kamala is she'll is she'll if Biden wins, Biden will maybe be in between one and three months. I doubt he'll even make it a month, right? So he'll get in there. He'll be in for some some period of time. He will not finish his first term. And then, uh, you know, everybody will wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Here's Kamala Harris as president, the way we always expected, right? And then I think, that just like on the show Veep showed, there will be an elastic rubber band snapback, and she will never get reelected. Like, America will be like, You've, this was forced on us. You didn't take the time. You didn't earn it. I think that's what America as a nation will say. It shouldn't be that way. I think. Well, I don't know. Um, I think when you when you make historical firsts, it should be done in the right way. And I I don't think this is the right way. Uh, you know, Kamala Harris did a real run, and I think it would have been a lot better if she had um, maybe run in twenty twenty four and defeated whoever was there. Right. So the idea that that this political first, this huge momentous thing will happen without sign off it's rough and i think there could be a massive historical backlash that's my opinion i'd love to hear what you think what do you think do you think it's okay that the first that if biden wins the first female president will be unelected uh, i'd love to hear your thoughts let me know in the comments below please consider liking subscribing and have a wonderful millennium